Hi everyone, Kathy from Kathy's Vegan Kitchen. I hope you're enjoying the recipes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by pushing the subscribe button. Today we're going to a barbecue at my parents' house and I'm bringing Waldorf salad. Um, the apples are in season and it's near the holidays, so I love honey crisp apples. You wanna pick apples that are sweet, honey crisp, um, gala, the pink ladies are really good, Macintosh. You want two large apples or three small apples, and I left the skins on them, and um, you cut them up or you use your vegetable chopper, and I did this beforehand, and all you do is squeeze some lemon juice on here to keep them from browning, and once they sit in the lemon juice for a little bit, they'll, they'll just stay that way even inside the salad. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make the dressing first. I have a quarter cup of cashew mayo that I'm going to put into a bowl. I have two teaspoons of maple syrup. Three teaspoons of maple, or I'm sorry, Dijon mustard. And three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And that's all you need. And we're just going to whisk that together. The apple cider vinegar will also keep the, um, the apples from browning. Now there's variations of this recipe. A typical vegan Waldorf salad just contains apples and some other ingredients. We'll talk about what those are. So let's take the apples and we're going to place them in the bowl. And it's okay, there's lemon juice. It's soaked up in the apples, totally fine. We have one cup of red grapes or green grapes cut in half. I couldn't find red ones, so I'm using green ones today. I'm also using a quarter cup of pickled red onions, and that recipe is also on my blog. You can also just use regular red onions, but I like the pickled ones for this particular recipe. I have three ribs of celery that I chopped up a quarter cup of dried cranberries, which makes it perfect for Thanksgiving, a cup of chopped raw walnuts. <laughs> uh, we're gonna pour the dressing on top of the salad. and then we're gonna stir the ingredients together. And I like to put this in the refrigerator for about an hour at least before I serve it because all the flavors, they meld together. Now, this right here, we're gonna add three tablespoons of dill. I like the fresh dill. Remember, if you use dry herbs, you need to use half the amount of fresh. And this is three tablespoons of parsley, fresh parsley. Now, right here, we have a traditional, yet vegan, Waldorf salad, just the way it is. I like to add some grains to it. You can also add kale to make it a full meal. I'm going to add one cup, one cup of cooked, and it's, it's two and a half cups cooked, but it started as one cup dried farro. And I'm going to add the farro in there, and it absorbs the dressing, and it gives the salad some more texture. You do not have to add the farro. Also, I sometimes like to add kale, but we're going to my dad's house, and he doesn't like kale, so we're not going to add the kale this time. Just the farro. And you're going to take some salt pinch of salt, whoops, a pinch of pepper, and then stir it together one last time. And this salad will last in the refrigerator for up to five days, and it stays fresh, and you don't have to worry about it getting soggy or anything because farro is pretty firm um, grain. And here you have a Waldorf salad, veganized with a little farro in it. So I hope you enjoy the recipe.